Hey guys, it's Zach. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about Final Cut Pro 10's most recent update, 10.4.4, and the addition of the noise reduction effect. I've been using Final Cut Pro 10 since its release, and this is the first time there's been any kind of video noise reduction. I know that there are third-party applications for noise reduction, like Neat Video, but I just haven't wanted to spend the money on, on them. Now that Final Cut Pro 10 has noise reduction built in, I wanted to see what kind of results I could get with it. So let's take a look. In this first look, I took the GH5, I kept the aperture constant at f4, and I adjusted the shutter speed and the ISO to match exposures through the ISO range. In the effects panel under Final Cut Pro is where you will now find noise reduction. When you load noise reduction onto a clip, you have two parameters you can work with, amount and sharpness. In my testing, it's best to keep the amount of noise reduction to high or maximum, and to keep the sharpness to very low or none. With that said, those are the settings I used on the following clips. I put the same shot side by side, with noise reduction on on one and non on the other. I'm gonna quickly look at this clip shot on the GH5 at ISO 1600 with all the levels of noise reduction applied. With low noise reduction turned on, I don't notice much difference at all. With medium noise reduction, I notice a little bit less noise in these areas, but still not that much of an improvement. I definitely notice less noise when it's set to high. Specifically looking in these areas, when you turn the noise reduction on, a significant amount of that noise goes away. Even when you set it to maximum, you don't lose all that much detail and it's still a very usable image, but cleaner. After looking at noise reduction with the GH5, I wanted to try it with another camera to see if I would get different results. So this time around, I used the Fujifilm X-T2. On both the GH5 and the X-T2, I found that the noise reduction in Final Cut was able to help quite a bit. Obviously with the X-T2 having a cleaner image to begin with, it got better results in the end. One other thing that I wanted to look at was footage at ISO 6400 with no noise reduction and footage at ISO 12800 with noise reduction to see the differences. For this, I raised the sharpness from very low to low to give it a little bit more detail. You are able to get less noise in the higher ISO footage with noise reduction, but you do obviously have less detail. I also did the same test with footage at ISO 3200 versus 12800. A thing I'd like to look at because I have the demo of Neat Video is the render times between it and Final Cut Pro's noise reduction. When you use Neat Video, you have to open up the third-party application Yada yada yada. You select an area. There. Auto profile. Apply. And watch it render. With the demo of Neat Video, you only get a 720 window preview of what the noise reduction will do. This is a three second clip. And done. And now looking at Final Cut Pro's render speeds for noise reduction. Drag it on. Set to maximum and very low sharpness and render. Obviously Final Cut Pro's is significantly faster. Now punching into 400% to see how neat video does against Final Cut Pro. Looking at the results of neat videos and Final Cut Pro's noise reduction next to each other, I would say that neat video does look a little bit better. On the other hand, it does take significantly longer to render and cost extra. Overall, I'm pretty happy with Final Cut Pro's noise reduction, and it's definitely something I can see myself using. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. And if you found this video really helpful, consider subscribing. What is that? Pew, 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 pew.